Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Dave, and I'm No One Famous, and with me is my buddy, Ed. Welcome, Ed. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Talk about. Yeah, it's uh, it was quite an interesting uh, game, as usual. Like uh, we said last week, the roller coaster could definitely continues, without a doubt. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, your, your take real quick before we hit this uh, video replay. I was shocked, basically. I mean, the, the game started off with a 19-play drive by Philly. I um, And they scored, it was 14-3 or three at one point, and my son Zach turned to me and said, Dad, it could be a long afternoon. And I said, well, let's see what happens. And then I said, this is a big drive. When it was 14-3, they came back, kicked the field goal, made it 14-6. Um, gave us a little hope, but um, it was still a shock till the till the very bitter end. I mean, but that's uh, you said as you said, let's go to the videotape, right? Yeah, let's go to the videotape, as uh, the the great Warner Wolf used to say, and probably I want to say half, but I want to say probably two thirds of the people listening. The, Don't the know what videotape is. The ten that do tune in have no idea what that means, but anyway, uh, so let's give all this uh quick little highlight, and I'll stop it at the certain locations here, certain parts of the video. So let's just see what we have here. Uh, looking at the bottom of the screen, it's a third and eight. Philadelphia has the ball. There's some uh, closed captions on top. And this is a very sh short version of uh, a recap, but we'll just play through it. And some of these clips don't really uh, flow too well, but you see it's 0-0 zero, zero in the first quarter. And everybody did expect this game uh, to be... Uh, not a, I don't think I don't think the Jets are ever going to be in a blowout with this defense, you know. Agreed. And then you see that ridiculous, you know, scrambling out of the pocket and and great play on both ends of the quarterback and the wide receiver there. This gets in the first quarter. This is what I was mentioning, that long drive, right, Dave? That long drive, that 19-play drive. You know, you're, you're playing a, a really good championship quality, quality team, so you're actually seeing how it's done. And for them not to blow out the Jets, you know, that shows you how good the Jet defense is because uh, this is definitely a top-tier team here. Without a doubt. I mean, you talk about the yeah. Super Bowl runners-up. I mean, I agree, but it was what was interesting, I thought, was, you know, hey, listen, I'd rather start slow and then like they did than the other way around, right? And I always say to you, like I said, I have no problem with an ugly win against a very good team as opposed to an ugly win against a bad team. So I was okay with this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I even go as far as calling it an ugly win. I call it a solid win. I mean, it, when you it's... can't score a touchdown on offense, Ed, that's an ugly win. <laughs> no turnovers are playing a good yeah, team. Yeah, that, that, that's where we differ. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, going forward, and we'll talk about that, we need to find a way to have an offense. Uh, otherwise, this is like watching the Sanchez team. You know what I mean? And I'm not crazy excited about that. Uh, no, but like I said, you know, they, they didn't make any big mistakes. And that's to me, I'll, that's, I'll take that any day. We'll, I'll take keep it maybe just a smudge out of the ugly win column for that reason alone. Yeah. You know, I, as you say this, I'm thinking like, that's like saying you like classical and I like heavy metal. You know, it's like I want, I want domination. You know, I don't want to barely just win and go on field goals and getting a turnover. Without a doubt, though, in the second half, I thought they got in, in Hurts' head. But, I mean, he threw some terrible throws, I thought. I mean, at the first half, he's running. I mean, in the first three quarters, he's breaking tackles when he should have been wrapped up for sacks. Um, yeah. That interception he threw was 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 a terrible throw. I mean, if Zach Wilson would have thrown that ball, I think we mentioned this off camera. We I, yeah. <laughs> I, I always say that. Yeah, I always say that. Well, you see these great quarterbacks. and The, the problem is, and the excuse is legit. Beautiful throw and catch, of course, by uh, Garrett Wilson and, and Wilson and Wilson. Uh, the difference is these other quarterbacks have done it, so you know they're allowed to get away with it more so, obviously, than Zach Wilson. You know, so they 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 they've been they've they've proven great quarterbacks. A little dive there, down there, a little yeah. good ball out there. I like that play when it happened. Yep. That was pretty and here we go. If they're showing you the jet highlight, something has to happen here. Oh, that was see. I don't even know why that's in the highlight. <laughs> I got no, better... this, this field goal. I thought he missed this at first. Yeah, that was that was close. That was close. No two yards. He would have missed that. That ball hooked around yeah. that 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 that, that um, the upright. Yeah, we, have, we, have, we definitely have a pretty good. We have a good field goal kicker. That that definitely helps. Obviously, we have a <laughs> punter as well. Especially yeah. Oh yeah. Teams. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny you said that. Nobody talks about punters. They're very underrated. Uh, well, unless they, you know, if they're. Listen, not good, but we have a good punter as well. 
you know, Morstead is really good. I mean, he had four, he averaged forty eight point five yards and three three punts in it within a twenty long fifty four. He had good great stats. I mean, yeah. special teams solid. I would like to see uh, uh, Reese Hall still get a lot more carries for some reason. That's kind of there was that freak interception there. Yeah, I mean, if you look at like the interceptions and the you know the missed field goal by Philadelphia. You know, you can look at this two ways, Ed. You can look at it your way or my way. You know, like uh, it was a good win and it was like, oh, a lucky win, but not against a great team. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, um, I the reason I'm going to say not a lucky win, Dave, is because mm. they let us. They, they actually said at the very end, right? You know, score right now, and what we trust our, our offense to uh, to win this game, right? We won at the time. We'll let you score, and they couldn't do it. So to me, that's not yeah. lucky. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Wasn't a fluke. Wasn't a crazy in play. He he. They really got into his head in that second half. And that even yeah. that last throw, the, the incompletion. He threw that ball into double coverage way downfield. Right, right, right. Um, and it, it has to it has to say that the defense definitely had has these quarterbacks confused. So it's good, you know. It definitely, I thought, got into Hurts' head in that in that last in the yeah. end of the game. This is when my son yeah. said, to me, "Dad, this could be a long afternoon." Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they keep fourteen to six when we're still in the game a little bit. Let's see what happens. I look at it the same way. Like you know, they they can't come back from too many points down, but they did stay in it. Yeah, even eleven they points. Need, they they need like a lot of plays like that. They need that drop back, pass the ball, drop back, pass. They they got to have plays that you know he has an immediate place to throw the football. And we're still, you know, have to figure out that the line is still, you know, there's still some issues with the line with injury. Yeah. With, you know, Vera Tucker, you know, getting out and Pittman was hurt for a bit, but I think he was back this week. But there's yeah. still you know, still some issues with the line. And, um, you know, we got to, as you said, design some more plays like this for Zach. Where he can exactly. Do- and you know what? <laughs> and yeah, Breeze Hall is tremendous. And you know what? Even if you have a banged up line, if, you, if you're hiking the ball and getting out of your hand within two point, seconds, yeah. it doesn't matter who's playing offensive line, you know. Agreed. This was some of the ugliness again right here. Yeah. We're still in the second quarter. Yep. This was the, uh, like I said, I thought this was big right here because I think yeah. this is, and it's, it's, you know, they have, it could be 21 to three very quickly if he didn't make oh, this. Yeah. Play. Yeah. They were in a good field position at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how they just keep on pins and needles the whole game. <laughs> you can't really enjoy it till the end. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I think right here I was saying, oh boy, they're gonna it's gonna be twenty one six here, but and they were driving. Like down. I said, you know, you watch these football games and these things are gonna happen every game. There's gonna be turnovers and fumbles and interceptions and calls. You just have to be able to overcome it, you know. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. This is like right before halftime. Yeah, and they were driving down field, and I'm saying, Oh no, please don't go in twenty one six. Yeah. There was a fun there it is. No. Nope. That's another turnover. Would have been nice if we could have uh, got some points on right here, but hey, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. at the end of the you, day, you stopped them from getting points, so that's uh, you know, great. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This point, I'm thinking, that oh, we're going fourteen thirteen. I was thinking about this point. That priest hole, he has great vision and great and great speed, man. When he hits that hole. He certainly does. Oh. Could have been. Real real quick with that Denver game, I forgot to mention to you, there was two plays I remember in Denver with Brees Hall where he slipped uh, trying to make a cut that, you know, could have been big. And here's another field goal, 35-yarder. And, yeah, so now you're like, wow, you know, this is interesting, you know. We have a game. Yeah, yeah. Would have been, as you said, would have been nice with a touchdown there, but, hey, listen. Yeah. And then around it went, could have been 21, I, could have been 21 3 very easily. I hope they get, the, get it straightened out. But as you said, straightened out, but we're still 3 and 3 heading into the bye week. I mean, it's yeah, you know what it is, Eddie? I, I say that because, you know, I want to look forward to getting into the playoffs and succeeding, not barely getting in there or getting in there. We can't score. Like I said, just like the Sanchez days, you know. Uh, which, which which were good, obviously. I mean, you know, we can't complain too much about that. But I want to see them. Will we see a game where they have like three eighty-yard drives? <laughs> you know, will we okay. see a game where Zach Wilson throws more than a touchdown? Maybe. I mean, that's what it's at now. I mean, that, that's game, pretty. You know? That's not good. I'm, you know, 
fix this thing. What, what happens next game? And the Giants played really well. Well, um, I, you know, happen? you know what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you they should win thirty to three. But uh, <laughs> you know, but this is ballsy. It was you know, great. That, catch. that was ballsy. And like I said, when you have received like that, you have to take that chance and and do that a little more often, also. <laughs> And I like that they showed a little confidence in Zach to throw that ball deep in his end yeah, zone. Yeah, that, that was yeah. definitely ballsy, man. Him, especially if he's in his end zone throwing that pass. Yeah. Look at that. Those moves are incredible, man. I thought when he with that, <laughs> he made made that cut, I thought he was gone for a second. I you see how he, he he gets through that so quick. It's like almost like, he it's the almost same like a... thing. one more split second. That one forearm, he yeah. would have, would have been, it would, he could have been off to the races. Yeah, it's almost like it's double the speed time. That was that was pretty cool. Yep. But yeah, I mean, these are once again, these these are the little, the little, yeah. the, little the little flashes of uh, of if not brilliance of uh, really potential, really, yeah, back at times, really good throws at times. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, no <laughs> stupid interceptions where you're just throwing it up there, like you know, just no stupid you know. interceptions. Exactly. There, right. there, is this the the play? No, that's uh this Eagles. That one sack he took was uh, yes. I don't think I show it or not, but I think we moved on. Going <clears> to <throat> show it. I forget what that was. And also, again, we didn't have our, uh, you know, we had three of our top four cornerbacks. I know, I know. Playing against uh, Jalen Hurts, yeah. that's, that's amazing. Yeah. And and that's where you show you have a good, uh, you know, uh, coaching staff. Look at that, this guy's nuts, man. He's got to get twenty plus carries a game. <laughs> Agreed. I would like to just yeah. see a round and pound game with yeah. him. Though. This is it here. Yes, that I was mean, a bit. You know, well, the guy right in his face. He tried. I was going to say he didn't have a second to even whatever. Luckily, he just did. You know, not not chuck it away. A lot, a lot of announcers said that. And like I said, once again, you got to settle for a field goal. But hey, you win the game. Is that man? Yeah, he's good, man. I mean, he's good at finding uh, you know, the spots in that pocket. <laughs> yeah, not only that, as you we said, he's strong. I mean, it was many times when he had hands on him yeah. and he couldn't put him down, and he still had the yeah. arm trying to get the ball out there. So that, he was that, really that last play he did was a good example of uh, what do they keep calling the, that Zach's working on the foot foot movement, foot placement, footwork. Footwork. Yeah, that was great uh, footwork. There it is. Nice little defensive play. Little that was that was the one where they hit his arm. Where he hit a little. Yeah. They hit his arm, right? They hit hurts arm, and he got. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. That's what it looked like. Although. <laughs> yeah, that's tough, man. He they t- trying to take a shot downfield. Yeah, there. with that, I, I couldn't see again. Was that? I don't know if that was Beckham's. Uh, <laughs> Beckham side. I believe it was. Yeah. That was a good catch, man. I saw the replay a few times. That was good. Yeah, the knees were down. Yeah, that was nice. good. In, in real time, you're like, there's no way, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's such a small window in there. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Enough. But Gary Wilson made a number of those plays as well. So it's, you know, so yeah. it's. Uh... I mean, he ripped the shirt. That was funny when he struggled. Yeah. Still got the first down. I don't know who Philadelphia plays next. I can look it up later. Am I, is it Miami? My, uh, I know there's a couple of games overseas also. I believe they're playing Miami next. Let me check that out. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, check it out. I believe that was before I came out. I believe I saw that they were talking about what's up next. And I believe they're playing Miami. Let's see. Yep, they, they're playing the Dolphins at home next week. That's it's really week. good. And Philadelphia just missed a field goal there, Ed, while you were looking away. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, you know, you talk about fumbles, interceptions, missed field goals. Uh, I like Rucker. I like him a lot. I hope he's going to be good. But then again, you know, it's the Jets. Uh, the Jets are causing these things to happen. Uh, you know, these interceptions and fumbles. You know, you know what we talked about last week, Dave. You know, the Jets or earlier in our um, earlier in the season, how yeah. they the Jets have a favorable after this tough six week. Yes. You know, after the bit, after the bye, how they have a little easier schedule. Uh-huh. You know, they should win, including the next game against the, Gi- the Giants. Yeah. The the, the big question everyone's going to be start is going to be starting to ask is you know looking at um Aaron Rodgers on the sidelines, you know, without yeah. crutches, throwing the ball. If he happens to be ready for the, if they get into the playoffs and he's ready, that's going to be a whole uh, level. Of, here it is. Here is the big there is. game. There's a play. Yes. I was yelling, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I was going nuts. Everybody now, was going nuts. He threw that. That was a terrible throw by Hertz within two yeah. plays. 
on the inside, on the outside of the receiver. If Zach threw that ball, they would have been all over him. And I didn't really even realize it was an option for them to let him score. This is why I said it wasn't it wasn't an ugly win. Dave. Right, 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 right. At least said, "Hey, listen, you know what? We have a minute forty six seconds. We got a bunch of timeouts. We're gonna we can we can win this game." Yeah, and and this was big too. Home, I mean, they, they didn't start. want them to, they didn't want them to get this. <laughs> that was all good. You yeah, know? That was a tough turn, man. That was a very yeah. nice. Turn. Yeah, and he had time. Yep. Yeah. And let's see. Here we go. This is the big the defensive stand. Yeah. Nice. nice. Open field tackle there. Yeah, there's a lot of momentum on the Jets side right now. <laughs> yeah, the final throw, I think, when everyone would yeah. into full coverage downfield. Yeah. No one even should have, been a, should have been a sports interception that play. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. Like a couple of times during the game, like, all right, the Jet defense is supposed to be the strength. Now's your time to step up and you know win the game and sure, whatnot. And they you, did. Know? you know, and they they definitely did. And that's why, Dave, it's not an ugly win because the defense stepped up. Philly no, had the- no, like I said, I mean, yeah, I mean, so, like, obviously, you know, uh, I'm looking at things like Zach Wilson passing for under 200 yards the last uh, two games in a row. I'm not sure exactly what his stats are two games row touchdown-wise. He might have one touchdown in two games. I mean, you know, I'm saying if – Let's just say Avin Rodgers is Avin Rodgers. If Zach Wilson can be two thirds of Avin Rodgers, we could get to the playoffs and even advance. But as long as this offense is can't score of a touchdown, you know, and like I said, the schedule is getting easier. So we're going to see if if Zach Wilson can't pass for three hundred yards and throw three touchdowns in a couple of games, or this Jet offense can't have eighty yard drives. This is nice, but I don't think it's going to get us, you know, to a. It's only going to get us so far. I feel. I understand, but hopefully, like I said, some easier teams, some easier games that could develop. He's got a two weeks off now, right, to uh, to work yeah. on things. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and, you know, being the optimist that I, I like to be right now with the Jets is he, we we beat the Super Bowl runner-up, mm-hmm. and we, we should have beaten the Super Bowl champs. We got, I think, a couple of bad calls in that game. Didn't go our yeah. way. We won that yeah. game. I, I feel like, uh, uh, I guess, like – Holding things stay. So three and three, even with Avin Rodgers, we'd be happy to be three and three because we knew someone else those games are going to be tough, you know. Uh, but I, I keep looking at this like, you know, we're winning these games, even if it's ugly. And it's good that we're winning because, you know, we're in the playoff hunt and we have the chance to improve, like you said. So I'm hoping to see that improvement, even if it's again, listen, let's just say it's a bad team. I mean, I'm not saying the Giants are the worst team in football, whatever. But I want to see, even if it's against the worst team in football, you know what I mean? So we can say, hey, you know what? Zach Wilson was incredible, but that was the worst team in football we played on defense. And if that's the case, he should pass for 350 yards, three or four touchdowns, and the Jets should score 30 points on offense. And until I see that happening, it just concerns me a little bit, you know? And I know I, I'm a little greedy. I, I want more. I, you know, I want to win in the playoffs. I want a little bit more, you know? Oh, you, want, you want a convincing win. Um, right, right. I want, I want to see this offense want, score touchdowns. A, a, a start to finish domination <laughs> yeah. where there's not right. even a question of whether right. they're going to come back in the game. Well, you know yeah. what, Ed? Let me just say one thing. That's even advanced. I, I against anybody. I want to see them pass for 300 yards and Zach Wilson throw three touchdowns. Anybody at any time, or and or them have a couple of 80 yard drives. You know, I just haven't seen that yet. And I feel like, oh, it's lucky wins, it's close wins, it's struggling wins, it's defensive help them win, it's missed field goals, it's interceptions. I want to see the Jets just beat a team straight out. That's what I want to see, no matter what the who the team is. I hope to see that sometime soon. <laughs> well, what you, we have a bye week coming up, Dave. What, yeah. do you, what is your prediction? What do you think is going to happen against the Giants? Well, I, I tell you, you know, it, it's – NFL is always crazy. And, you know, any given Sunday, we saw a lot of the strange things happen. Uh, you know, until that Buffalo game where the giant defense, I don't know what they did, but they played pretty well against Buffalo. Uh, you know, until that game, I was going to tell you, like I said earlier, that it should be a blowout by the Jets. I'm curious to see what the point spread is going to be also, you know. Uh, the Giants are playing who next? I don't have this stuff in front of me, but I don't know what you have. Now? Oh, I think they're playing the Commanders, I think. So that's a, That's an interesting game too, right? They are playing. Washington is playing at the Giants. Yes, that has, yeah. So, so that that should be. Yeah, we'll see how that how that plays. Listen, there's so many teams in football, like Washington and the Texans. Uh, 
I don't know. Like, even like I said, when I go on the fan duel, I'm like, I don't even know who to bet here because some of these games I wouldn't even touch. You know, they're, they're just too close, you know, to, to call. Uh, and like I said, San Francisco, the upset there, you know, I mean, there's been, yes. it, it, it's, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I, I, I think, you know, listen, we're Jet fans. So will we come on here in two weeks and say, oh, I can't believe the Jets lost to the Giants? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know, you know, if, if, if I guess says you, you almost want the season to either you know it's going to continue or you know it's going to end. This whole roller coaster stuff is a lot for me to handle. You know, this <laughs> that that Giant game is an interesting game because it, the, yeah. well, the the Giants played great le- last last Sunday night. Um, yeah, heartbreaking loss for them. Yeah. Um, if they come out and really have a convincing win against Washington, that's going to be interesting against the Jets. Mm-hmm. If they if they, if that if that was it, if that was one little bright spot and they fold it and they fold their tent and go home and they get they get killed next week, then I think it's a whole different story. So I think I think I'm going to reserve judgment on that game until left I see what the Giants do on Sunday against yeah, Washington. I agree. And like I said, until we see even I, I'm not sure if they, then maybe there was a game like this. I might have missed it, you know, to be a little sarcastic. Even if we see, and I've been saying this for probably a few years now, even one game against any team of Zach Wilson passing for 300 plus yards and three touchdowns, something so we know that, hey, you know, even if he thinks the next week, at least we know he can do it. You know what I mean? Like, whatever the reason is. So that that's what I'm hoping to see eventually whether it's against the giants uh let me see this i don't know if you have the schedule in front of you there for the next uh after the giant game what that might be let's nice. see we got the uh Fine. let's see i know you're going to that game too right Ed? i'm going to the jet giant game yes that should be pretty cool they have a monday night game after that against um the chargers yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of night games. Yeah, there's charges, and then I see we got the uh, with the Raiders. Game, all these prime time games, all these yeah. Games, week, well, when the... I thought Aaron Rodgers was going to be there, so it's funny how uh, Zach gets to get this gets the spotlight. Yeah, and that that Charger game that was uh man, I I mean I'm sure a lot of people bet the uh, over with that. That was a very low scoring game last night against the, with, with the Cowboys. And did you see uh, what happened beforehand? The little fight beforehand in the pre the pre. Yeah, the, I, I, the, I I saw, the, saw some bits and pieces of it. I don't know what the heck happened with that or why that happened, but. I, was yeah. little, little, sorry, I think the um, I think the Cowboys ran through a uh, ran right through a, a charge of drill, like in a like a pregame. Oh, drill. that's what that's what triggered it all. <laughs> <Please? laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Yes. But uh, yes, yeah, so like I says, uh, I, that's you know my opinion. Like I said, it was a good win. Uh, ugly win is maybe it's a little bit strong for me to say that. You know, it, it was a good win. I'm glad I pulled of... you back from the ugly win. I'm glad, I'm glad I pulled you back from the ugly win to maybe not 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 a to a good win. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm just like I said, I just feel the way this defense is playing, the way we're keeping these teams to a certain score. I mean, man, if this offense gets going, it's going to be really exciting. And and that's all we need to see. And then we're going to be like, oh, man, so, you know, something like then maybe Rogers will be back for the wild card game. Who knows <laughs> what happens great, then? Be a great, uh, that'd be a great show, David, when, when if that happens. Yeah, it'd be a great story, too, with the whole NFL. What happens would be... if, what happens if, uh, if just, just playing, you know, what if, what if? Yeah, uh... yeah. What if what if Zach Wilson catches fire and is playing phenomenal and they get the playoffs? Do you still do you bench him and put Rodgers in at that point? What happens then? That would be that would be interesting. That'd be interesting. I mean, uh boy, I would say that you do that. I mean, when you say catch fire, I mean I mean he's really got to catch fire. <laughs> say, he, say he plays good. He has say a couple, if not a couple yeah. of three hundred yard games, a couple of two fifty yard games. You know, this offense to me, this yeah. offense isn't built around Zach Wilson throwing for three hundred yards. Yeah. You want to we're going to get Brees Hall running a little bit. So say you get the running game going again in the passing yeah. game, 250, you know, 200, 250 yards passing and 150 yards running, 400 yard games, a couple of wins, make the playoffs. What do you do? Yeah. I mean, uh, that's going to be interesting if it happens. I mean, I would personally say I would put Aaron Rodgers in because I think he'd be so far ahead of Zach Wilson. Uh, but like I said, that that's an interesting hypothetical. And well, I, I just, I, I can't see Aaron Rodgers running around out of the pocket, you know, uh, I would say that if it was if I was a betting man, which I'm not, but if I was, I would say if that scenario played out in the alternate universe, I would they would play Aaron Rodgers because they're not paying him all that yeah. money. To I agree. I agree. Be in uniform and pants to back up. Yeah, yeah I Let's agree. Let's hope we get there, Dave. Let's hope you know we can always hope for things. Let's hope we get there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm just happy that we're gonna have three weeks in a row without a jet loss, two wins. Oh, in a, I mean, that's, in a week. just to be three and three, and like I said, and if nothing really horrible and ugly to happen the last game before the bye week, like where Zach Wilson threw three picks and like, oh God, you know, I mean, you know, it's exciting. Like they're keeping us on the roller coaster, uh, which is a good thing. And uh, 
like I said, we have a week off and we'll see what happens in a few weeks. And, you know, but meanwhile, Ed, enjoy the game. Uh, if you have any pictures or videos to share with me, we'll try to get them on the next podcast when, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks. All right. Just be, it's been a couple, it's been a, I've been to a jet giant game a number of years ago. And when the jet, when the jets were the visiting team, I'll let you know what it's like to walk around in a uh, Joe Klecko jersey with a jet hat on. And, uh, I think this year you'll be surprised. There's probably gonna be a lot, a lot of Jet fans there with you know what's going on, especially with the records and everything. So it should be, uh, I don't know about it's not gonna be fifty fifty, but it'll be. I think a lot of a lot of giant. In fact, even in the pre, a lot of the edge, a lot of giant fans probably sold it. Will sell the tickets on the secondary market just to give us some money back on that game. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, you have to keep us posted on that. That'll be a fun uh, po- podcast in a couple of weeks. So, all right, Ed, be well, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. As always, Dave. Thanks for having me. Uh, you got it. Take care.